The recent emergence of the Philippines' third telecommunications provider, also known as Ditto Telecom, has made massive waves of changes throughout the archipelago country. Segmenting itself as an immediately upcoming competitor enabled it to have more than 10 million registered customers in just less than two years of operations. Officially starting in March 2020, Ditto Telecom swooped in to have over 130,000 base stations by October of that year. And by March of 2022, announcing its official commercial operations, which by June, reached over a million subscribers and by August, over 2 million. And by the end of 2021, announcing its fifth million customers. Its share price, according to its listing on the Philippine Stock Exchange, has even become one of the most loved ticket symbols among investors. Ditto, for its official symbol, has been under a massive speculative move. From the time of its announcement around 2018, its share price rose from under 1 peso that year to over 19 pesos a share in early 2021, but collapsed to around 2 pesos after the stock market went under turbulence led by internal and external factors. Immediately, however, Ditto Telecom became became a contender not just even to the entire telecommunications space, but to the entire conglomerates of the Philippines. Here is an upcoming newcomer business that can swoop in to buy other mega businesses. However, there is just one problem. Ditto Telecom's rise is fueled by one factor debt. For them to continuously grow massively and operate thousands upon thousands of towers and base stations, they need to have a lot of money. Furthermore, marketing their products and services would also be a costly endeavor, buying advertisement spaces here and there. It is, in other words, no simple task that they got to where they are today. It takes a lot of money, a lot of experience, and a lot of work for them to establish immediate growth, which surfaces those traditional companies. And it is due to this factor that things may look great on their consumer numbers may not look as great on their actual balance. To understand where we're getting at, we must first discover Ditto Telecom's official financial reports. This is publicly available data that anyone can see, due to the nature of Ditto Telecom being enrolled in the Philippine Stock Exchange. And because of its listed share, it is required by law that they publish such details for the public to see. Now, before we get into the scenario of where the company is at today, let us first take a quick look at its previous years. When Ditto Telecom was granted its permit in 2019, it immediately had to act fast, which also means that it needs to burn cash to fuel its initial operations. Therefore, as the company was already listed on the public stock exchange due to its previous operating name, known as the Mislatel Telecom Company, they had announced that by the end of 2020, they had already burned over 2.6 billion pesos in cash. As an initial starting point, that would be a huge load of money, but since the coming year, they would burn billions after billions. By the end of 2021, the company was already operating, which, as we noted earlier, had over 5 million subscribers. Yet it only produced 2.1 billion pesos that same year, and lost over 9.6 billion pesos. Now, here comes the latest data published by the end of September 2022. The company, as of trailing 12 months, had lost a whopping 18.5 5 billion pesos and only made sales of about 6.1 billion pesos. What does all this suggest? Everything as of the current operations of Ditto Telecom is fueled by loss after loss, cash burn after cash burn. This might have suggested that not only was it because of the stock market turbulence that caused its stock price to fall from 19 pesos to just around 2 pesos in a year or so, but it might also be because investors had been wrong about the company. They had thought that this would become the next national contender, one that would make billions of pesos, yet they were wrong. For a quick comparison, its competitor, known as Globe Telecommunications, produces far more than Ditto Telecom. As of the latest quarterly report, Globe Telecom had reported 12-month trailing sales of over 171 billion pesos and earned over 31 billion pesos as a net income. Its net sales alone are so big that it engulfs that of Ditto Telecom. Moreover, Globe Telecom's valuation, which is estimated to be around 322 billion pesos at the time of this writing, also overshadows that of Ditto Telecom at just 41.5 billion pesos. Yet, do take note that there was a time Ditto Telecom's valuation was nearly 400 billion pesos, since its share price had fallen from 19 pesos to just 2 pesos. 
But that's not the only thing we need to talk about. We need to discuss the future of Ditto Telecom based on its balance sheet, and whether or not it can continuously operate with such a degree of financial losses. The company has reported that as of the latest quarterly report, it had over 196 billion pesos worth of total liabilities. If you're not aware of this term, liabilities are simply the financial obligations of a company. A huge amount, because it also overshadows the company's total assets, which are just 167 billion pesos. This suggests that the company has more debt in its pockets than the amount of money that it holds. Debt to assets of about 117%. So this raises the basis of a most important question. Can Ditto Telecommunications, the upcoming competitor in a major landscape of the Philippines, continue operations, or much less, survive? Not only is the company expected to continue to burn cash after cash, but they're simply taking in more debt after debt. After a quick overview, the total liabilities held by the company almost doubled in just one year. From the third quarter of 2021, about 100 billion pesos in total liabilities to over 196 billion pesos in total liabilities by the end of third quarter 2022. Well, here's the thing. We will dive into two key analyses to suggest why Ditto Telecom will survive, and the possibilities that it will either slow down or have the need to raise cash elsewhere. The good thing about Ditto Telecom right now is the fact that it is backed by two key components. The first is Udena Corporation, a massive conglomerate that is fueling its basis of cash in and out of the company. Udena Corporation, the holder of it, is obligated to do so since they had promised under a consortium 25.7 billion pesos of a performance bond. This consortium is likewise backed by another key player known as China Telecom, which owns 40% of the Ditto Telecom company. By this standard, we can immediately recognize that with two big corporations backing Ditto Telecom, we can rest assured of its viability to continuously operate under such pressure. However, Here's the key analysis that we find why Ditto Telecom will need to do something about. Ditto Telecom's immediate increase in total liabilities and continuous cash burning is simply suggesting one thing. They need to continuously have a cash flow going into the company by these backers. Either it is through the continuous increase of company debt or financial cash flow from the parent companies. But the company can't always raise money. There will be a time when they will hit a wall, especially if they're faced with a challenge. For instance, a challenge concerning its competitors, which are raising barriers to Ditto Telecom. A challenge that can be unforeseen, such as an external factor that can harm the economy of the Philippines and deteriorate their strategies. Hence, if there was a probability of a challenge unforeseen, it would immediately impact Ditto Telecom's operations. It would either slow down its growth, a cost cut on its marketing, on its research and development, or render Ditto Telecom as just a company overshadowed by Globe Telecom and PLDT. However, there are just assumptions. If we take a look at the grand standard of things, Ditto Telecom still may be able to outshine, simply because it has the backing of China Telecom, one of the world's largest telecommunications providers, and also has stakes in other businesses. But anyway, this video is made for entertainment purposes only and does not serve as financial advice. Do let us know, however, if you think Ditto Telecom can continue this stride of cash burns. Thanks for watching.